Hello Internet, today on the table we have Miniware ES15S. In this video I'm gonna give a some type of review, show you one time that it failed on me, I'll show you how to maintain the mechanical parts by lubing them, and how to calibrate the gyroscope. This screwdriver is basically the same as ES15, which is their initial release of this screwdriver. When comparing the old one with the new one, it seems that this one has a little less battery life and uses different components. So they probably found a way to make it cheaper, but I have no proof on that. When going through the menu, there's a torque settings from 1 to 5, 2 being the best for smaller PCBs and 5 being the maximum strength. Their documentation does not provide any torque specifications in Newton meters. There's a setting to enabling impact mode, which is basically like drilling concrete which makes these punches to tighten the screw harder. Three different speeds for how fast the screwdriver turns and the sensitivity of the gyroscope. Looking at all of the bits provided in the box, there is many of them and many of which you will probably not use. The box that it came with can also be used as a casing but I didn't find it comfortable myself. Since the OLED screen on the screwdriver is very exposed, I recommend having a carrying case. Now there's one thing about the bits that I don't like is that they seem very fragile. That's why I used my iFixit kits instead of the ones that came with the screwdriver. The screwdriver has a magnetic end so the bits will always stick and not fall out. When charging the screwdriver, the top part on the OLED will get hot and it gets to around 40 something degrees. As my first victim, I tried to unscrew this Huawei laptop's back cover using the small Torx bit. After doing only 5 screws, the end somehow stripped. How is that even possible? It might be because of user error and I used... I don't remember which one, but it might have been on the uh, Strength 5 mode, which is maybe a bit too strong. I tried testing the same bit with the iFixit handle but it only seemed to get worse when I applied more pressure on the top. I'm gonna say the bit is just poor quality. This is the tip from iFixit. I've used it a million times. Still looks like new. 84 years later, one morning I take my screwdriver to use it and it starts blinking at me. So of course I will take it apart to check what's wrong and try to fix it. It seemed that the issue was with the ribbon cable kinda. It was not fully plugged in or maybe because of the impact mode. So because it's hitting multiple times when you screw something in and that might have loosened it out. I tinkered with it a few times because after plugging it in it still seemed like it's not always working and some vibration or impact made it fall out. So I wanted to take the whole thing apart and just to check if there's anything else wrong. Now here's a tip for you if you try to disassemble this, always make sure that it's all put back together and everything is tightened, otherwise you'll make it spin out inside which will rip the LED cable. Now after many hours of use of the screwdriver, the lube inside on the mechanical parts will dry out and then you might notice the sound of the spinning screwdriver become a bit dry or a bit louder than before. Since I love my tools, I always want to maintain them, so I took it apart to re-lube it. This process took maybe like 15 minutes. There's quite a few small parts, but not as many as in an engine. When you first receive your screwdriver or over time it might start to lose its proper calibration on the gyroscope so you try to gently spin it but it might spin the other way or after spinning to one direction it starts to decelerate. I don't think it's documented anywhere on how to calibrate it but there's a sort of a secret sequence on how to calibrate it. Go into this mode, short, long, long, short, short. Place it like this, wait for the calibration to finish and click OK. Now overall if I think it's worth it, the price, I don't think it makes sense. but. 
you know, if you love tools, then go for it. It's the most expensive thing on the market and it might have a really stupid price, but I enjoy using it. But in the end, you're the one who's deciding if it makes sense to buy.